Happy summer, June the 1st, 2024. Typically on this day, I like to sit down and do a wee update and talk about my plans for the summer and how the years went so far. And it's been ages since I've been on here and done an update, so I just thought I would do that today. To be really honest with you, the last couple of months have been quite frustrating. I uh, came home from Spain at the end of March. I was in great shape physically, mentally. I was just in a great place. I had really successful training camps in Spain at the start of the year. And all the time that I had off last year with Epstein-Barr virus, I basically got all the, all the fitness back that I lost. Done a lot of endurance riding, a lot of base training, and had a really solid base, some great foundations. The numbers that I was doing for my endurance riding was no far off when I was at my best, when I was doing the world records and all that. So I was in a great place, honestly, and was ready to crack on with the race-specific training, the intensity, the intervals. And my, my, my training for racing, for starting racing at the start of May. But since I've been home for Spain in the last two months, I just seem to keep getting sick and keep getting wee illnesses. So when I first got back, I had like 10, 12 days off with an illness and then back in the bike for a week and then off with another illness and then back in the bike for a week and then off with another illness. And then just before I was about to start racing at the start of May, I uh, got sick again. So I had, had, to miss, had to pull out of those races at the opening weekend. Then I was supposed to start racing a couple of weeks later in the middle of May. And then I got sick again, had to pull out of them. And then basically since that time, the last two weeks, I've been off the bike with a chest infection. So it's been pretty tough, been pretty frustrating. And I'm trying to work out, like, myself, my team, my coach, try to work out, like, what's what's wrong? Like, why do you keep getting sick? Like, what's, what's happening here? Like, because it doesn't feel normal for this to keep happening. And the kind of conclusion that I've came to, and kind of this is with the input from my coach as well, is that there's kind of, I, th- I think there's two things happening, potentially. The first thing that I think might be happening is, I think after having the Epstein-Barr virus last year, like that was February to March, almost a whole year having quite a serious virus. I think, although I'm over that, and I don't have any symptoms for that anymore, I think my immune system just took so much of a battering last year that it's just so suppressed that any wee cold, any wee illness, any wee bug or flu kicking about, I seem to be catching everything. So I think that's maybe what's happening. The other thing that I'm, I'm scared might be happening is that I think this might be a mental thing. Like, I think this might be like a psychological thing. I don't know if this is just like a, I don't know if this is something to do with like a, a stress, a pressure, an anxiety related thing relating to like the path that I'm on with racing. Because I do find it quite stressful and it is quite scary and there's a lot of fear and stuff like that. So I'm not sure. That's kind of where I'm at. <clears throat> so I, I'm hoping that it's just the first one. I'm hoping it's just a physical thing because <clears throat> I actually mentally feel the best I've ever felt about racing. Like, I think when I first started in 2022 and stuff like that, I had a lot of fears around, like, the bike handling, the descending, you know, riding with other people. Like, I don't really feel much of that anymore. Like, my all that stuff's improved a lot. You know, my confidence is great. And my handling's a lot better. Cornering, descending, like, all that stuff's a lot better. So I don't think it's that. But just the fact that I keep, I keep getting sick, it just makes me think that. So that's kind of where I'm at in my head. And so the plan now over the summer would be, plan A would be, everything going to plan, I could get back on the bike now, have a really good June, a really good three, four weeks in June, get back in shape, stay healthy. If I can do that, there's still a lot of opportunities over the summer in July, August, September to do plenty of races, to get racing, get more experience and still have a really good year. And so I know I've got a good timeline that if I'm healthy, I can still be in my best shape, best weight, best condition by August, September. So I'll still get something out of this year. So that's that's what I'm working towards. That's what I want to try and do. June's really going to be the critical month and how this year goes now. But, but if I get to the end of June and I'm still in a similar place, I've got another cold, another illness, I haven't been able to train consistently for issues related to my health. I think if that happens, I'm probably going to take a step back and just probably maybe just take July, August, September away from racing. And although I haven't really raced much in the last year, I've only raced twice in the last year because of health problems, that's obviously what I'm thinking about. That's what my mind's occupied by. That's what I'm focused on. That's what I'm training for. That's what all my nutrition's for. So I'm, I'm on that path, even though I've not done it that much in the last year. And I think that if I keep getting sick, even into June, I think it'd be good to just have a wee break for that because it's clearly not working and there's something just, there's something just out of alignment. And so I think that's what I would probably do. And <clears throat> I think it'd be good to maybe just have July, August, September to, I'm still going to be training, still going to be riding, but just, just riding for fun, do some longer rides maybe, maybe just do some other things that are just fun, no stress, no pressure, just have a bit of a break for the mental pressures, of just it, the intensity of training, 
constantly like tracking on my food, you know, trying to get down to a weight, thinking about my weight, all that, all those kind of pressures and stresses that come for, come for racing in this path that I'm on. So <clears throat> that's kind of where I'm at in my head. And I think that if I can still get racing over the summer, I still have a good year. The plan B, I'm still quite excited by that. I think that might be good for me mentally and physically. And then if I get to like September, October, and assuming that I'm healthy, I still feel I owe myself at least one more year racing. Because to be honest, it is getting to that point now where I think that I'm, I'm almost, I wouldn't say I'm close to the end, but I'm close to that point where it's either, it's make it or break it soon. Like if I'm, if I don't get any results this year or next year, or may, even make the breakthrough progress that I need, that's probably going to be it for me with the road racing, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not what long left at doing this before, I think. I'm probably just going to have to do something else because it's not working out. But I feel that I owe myself at least one more year because in the winter of 2022, from like September, October 2022, through to like February 2023, I had an amazing winter. That was my first ever proper winter off season. And it went fucking amazing. Like, I was so consistent. Nutrition was amazing. And honestly, I was flying. At the, I was flying in February 2023. And I knew I could have had a brilliant year that year. And then I got the Epstein bar virus in February. So I know that's still in there. I know that I can get back to that level. And I can get back to all the numbers I was doing in 2020, which were at a really high level. And so I still, I still feel I owe myself that. And so hopefully at least still one more year and I owe myself that. But again, as I said, if I get to the end of 2025, like September, October 2025, and I've not made the progress that I need to in training, I've not got any breakthrough results, like even a few top tens or something like that, just any sort of noticeable progress that shows that I can actually do this, I think that's probably it, to be honest. Like I don't I don't think I can keep going with this any longer. And that's a day I've always knew might come, but I still just really believe that I can do it. I believe this is what I'm here for. I believe this is what I'm born to do. And honestly, like whether it works or it doesn't, both both options are really exciting. I'm either going <clears> to <throat> go to the level I always wanted to go to and achieve what I wanted to achieve in racing and get to that highest level, or <clears throat> the plan B is, is equally as exciting. Like there's still a million things I can do on a bike. You know, the, the ultra endurance, the long distance cycling, the world records, or the long distance races, you know, there's so many things I can do. So, so both options are exciting, but, and I feel, feel, feel excited for that. So that's kind of where I'm at. Another long video, but it's probably just a lot of this stuff flying about my head for months and months. I just wanted to kind of get it out. So that's where I'm at. That's the plan for the summer. And hopefully we can still have a big summer, but if not, we'll maybe take a bit of time off and yeah, come back later in the year. So Hope everybody's well, hope they're having a great summer, and as always, keep moving forward. Thank you.